Welcome to another Stellbot adventure. Today we are at the Covered Bridge Campsite in Livingston Manor, New York. A cute little town with a huge backyard. Yes, it's right in the foothills of the Catskill Mountains. It's a rustic area, rustic campground, and we're enjoying it. Yeah. The Bendo Covered Bridge, also known as the Willowimuck Covered Bridge, was built in 1860 by John Davidson. It was originally located just off of Main Street in Livingston Manor, but in 1913 was moved to its present location on Conklin Hill Road. At 48 feet in length, it is one of four covered bridges still standing in Sullivan County, New York. There's the covered bridge. Make a right to the campground. Here is the office. Currently not much in the office except for ice and firewood. And there's our site, site number one. And now Bean's gonna take you on a tour of our site. Here's Carmen. Here's the end of our van. Our table set up. We found this campground on the Camp Spot app. We lucked out with site number one, which was the closest creek front site to the covered bridge. Just a few short steps down from the campsite is the Willowamuck Creek, a great spot for fishing. To the left of the covered bridge are the tent campsites. A, B, C, D is there. E through X are down that way. There's the covered bridge. Here's A and B. There's a the doggy there. And you can see they are right up against Willowemuck Creek. Tent sites look nice right on the water, beautiful, but some of them don't seem like there's a flat spot to really put a tent. So it could be a little challenge. Yeah, some roots to contend with. Site G behind me, it looks like you can fit a bunch of tents in that site. Little spot to wash your dishes if you're tent camping. It's a mushroom rock climbing wall, but I don't think the mushrooms would hold you. So I had a quick chat with the manager here. This has been under their control for about a year now. They're going to be doing a bunch of renovations, obviously. It's got potential. What do you think? Pretty good. Definitely rustic. Yes. we got some... Uh, picnic tables and fire rings at most sites. And they're nice picnic tables too for the, the sites that have been renovated. They're like the new good like metal. Or... No, like the plastic that's like, you know, repurposed plastic. But I think the, the the frames are metal so they're nice and sturdy and everything. Yeah. And the fire rings are also high end, nice fire rings. Yeah, nice thick metal rings. This campground is not for class A's. It's mostly trailers, vans, and tent sites. There have been some trailers that look like they've been here for a long time. Our neighbors were saying when they spoke to the manager that they want those trailers to leave the premise next year so that they can do a nice big renovation. If you're looking at the map for the campsite, 32 and 33 has a little uh, dead end. There's a creek that you have to cross so if you are driving to one of the further ones you have to take the side road to get there. Here's the side street that's going to take you to the top section of the campground and also to the island sites. There are four tent sites located on an island. You have to cross two short footbridges to get to the sites. These sites look spacious and serene. 
there is a short trail that takes you down to each one of the campsites. If tents are not your thing and you'd prefer glamping, Covered Bridge Campground has some vintage campers that you can rent for a weekend or a couple of days. This is one of two bathhouses. And you'll notice some pebbles next door. The sink pictures are gorgeous. Loving the live edge countertops. You can see that they've been renovating. The floor still needs to be done. But they've got these barn doors for showers. Look at that. Another sign of improvements to come. This is going to be a lounge area. So here's some pebbles. They've got the fire pit area all set up with some chairs. Sometimes you want to get away and just explore everything and be active. And sometimes you just want to get away, disconnect, and not be part of the world anymore. So if that's the second choice is what you want to do, definitely come visit Covered Bridge Campsite. Covered Bridge Campsite is one of those places where you can totally disconnect and not worry about anything else going on. Beautiful, peaceful, rustic, and you can just enjoy nature. Yeah, I mean, there's no service here, so you couldn't make calls or check your emails if you wanted to. If you have your computer, you can use it, but not with the internet. <laughs> yep. So if you wanted to do anything other than relaxing and maybe fly fishing, hanging around in the creek, you'd have to leave the campground. Neighboring town of Roscoe is known as Trout Town. We did find a couple of things to purchase at the Roscoe Farmer's Market. There is the Hound Bookshop, a small little independent bookshop over there. Livingston Manor also has a few shops and stores and cafes and such. Oh, Cafe 43. Livingston Manor. Being peeing everywhere. Heading towards a little farmer's market. Madison's stand. Well, it looks like ice cream and food and stuff. So there are things to check out. There are a couple of breweries too. So we went to Upward Brewing Company for lunch. In Livingston Manor. Yes. So there's plenty of stuff to do if you leave property. But if you just want to hang out, read a book, relax, sleep, listen to the sound of nature, this is the place to be. Yes. So thank you for joining us on this Stubbot adventure. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not. Do it. Let us know if you prefer being active or passive or a little bit of both on your vacations. We feel like we need a little bit of this one time, a little bit of that the other time. So, you know, let us know. Let us know what your favorite campgrounds in upstate New York are. And we'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh.